In the previous video, we used ALINKS to directly convert a BRD file from Allegro PCB Designer and launch ANSYS SI Wave. In this video, we'll generate the ANSYS ANF and CMP file formats using ALINKS. We'll then see how to import the ANF and CMP files into ANSYS SI Wave and ANSYS HFSS 3D layout. Open Allegro PCB Designer. You can generate ANSYS neutral file formats very easily using the skill-based ALINKS integration to Allegro. Go to the ANSYS ALINKS menu and select Write ANSOFT Neutral File to export this layout as an ANF file. Specify the desired directory for the output file and click OK. The ANF file is written. To create the component file, go to the ANSYS ALINKS menu again and choose Write SIWAVE Component File. Again, specify the directory for the component file. Click OK. The component file is written. This file contains PIN data for discrete devices, input-output devices, and ICs. You can now open the ANF and CMP files in ANSYS SI Wave and ANSYS HFSS 3D layout. If you watched the previous video in this series, you may wonder why someone would choose to write out these files instead of directly opening the board file in SI Wave or HFSS. The advantage of doing it this way is that the neutral files can be sent to someone who doesn't have access to an Allegro installation. Open a new ANSYS SI Wave session. Go to the Import tab, select ANF, browse to the ANF file, select it, click Open. This opens the Select Nets to Import dialog. Press the Import Configuration button. The translator extracts the complete list of nets. SI Wave reads the ANF file and reconstructs all of the layer geometry, including traces, metal planes, vias, and bond wires, as well as the pad stacks and stack up information. It does not yet have information about the components, however. After the ANF file is imported, the SI Wave workflow wizard appears automatically. Next, select the Import Component File button. Browse to the right location. Select the file with the .cmp extension as shown. Click Open. SI Wave now reconstructs the component information for the board. This includes part locations, reference designators, and the RLC values for passive components. Close the wizard. Fill all the layers and make them visible. Press Ctrl Alt Left Mouse button and drag the mouse to rotate the geometry. You can also adjust the Z stretch value to help you visualize the board in 3D. Press Ctrl L to open the Layer Stackup Editor. Once again, everything, the layers, materials, thicknesses, etc., came in correctly. It helps to store the ANF and CMP files in the same folder. Open a new session of the ANSYS Electronics desktop. Go to the File Import menu and choose ANF. Select the ANF file and click Open. In the ANF import window, you can select the nets you wish to import. For this example, let's import all the nets. Under the Options section, select the Use Component File checkbox. Click the ellipsis button to bring up a file browser. Navigate to the CMP file and click Open. Now press OK on the ANF import window. The software will now read in both the layout data from the ANF file and the component information from the CMP file. The Xilinx board is imported and an HFSS 3D layout design is automatically created. Notice you didn't even need to select the design type in the desktop. I'll now show you another method to add the CMP file. This is useful in case you forget to click the option to include the CMP file when you're importing the ANF file. The ANF file is imported. Expand the HFSS 3D layout project. You can select the default view or you can select the solid view. From the Layers window, you can make all the layers visible with their shapes, lines, pads, and holes. Under the HFSS 3D layout design type, right-click Circuit Elements and select Import Component File from the shortcut menu. Browse to the component file with a CMP extension and select it. Press Open. This command imports all the circuit elements for the board. Go to the View menu. Come down and select Components. This window lists all the components present in this design. 
Expand the list under Resistor, Inductor, and Capacitor. You can use the Control and Alt keys to spin the 3D view around. You can also perform a sanity check in the Edit Layers window. As before, check all the layer information has been read in correctly. So now you know how to create and read in ANF and CMP files. In the next video, you'll learn how to simply drag and drop BRD and MCM files into ANSYS SI Wave or ANSYS HFSS 3D layout.